jest. Widzisz? To nie tyle. It is a real pleasure for me to welcome you to the Embassy of Benin in Copenhagen for this seminar on the business opportunities available in Benin. The aim of the Embassy of Benin is to inform you in your capacity as investors. Benin is the gateway to landlocked countries like Niger, Burkina Faso, Mali and Chad, which means that all those countries use the port of Cotonou to export their goods abroad. Therefore, if you decide to, est to establish your business in Benin, you can easily export your goods through the port of cotton. That's a lot. But the location may not be the only reason for you to decide to invest in Benin. You may also be concerned about the political situation, the security situation. And regarding the political situation, I would say that uh, Benin is a democratic country and we've been experiencing democracy for 26 years now. The country is very stable. And this year, we organized the sixth presidential election in March 2016. And there has always, always been peaceful power shift in Benin. I come from Bonnefonden and we have uh, co-organized this meeting. And uh, we can't do business, but we actually have, have one, 120 employees in Benin. And know Benin quite well because we have been there for 25 years. My sort of guarantee is that we will be more than willing to help you if you are interested in Benin. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hello viewers, I'm here with uh, Alex Wonsko from uh, IFU, the Danish uh, Investment Fund. Right, Alex, how did you think? What happened there? Did you get anything with you? Yes, I, th I thought it was, uh, it was a very uh, informative uh, and uh, very well organized. I think it, uh, it was pitched at the right level, um, a good overview of, of the country, Benin. Um, and uh, up-to-date information, so I think uh, very good and I like the, the networking opportunity as well. Some familiar faces and, and some new faces, so uh, um, no, very positive and I like the fact that, uh, um, the, the, that looking ahead there is the idea of having a business trip to, uh, to Benin, which I think is, uh, is something to look forward to and, and to plan accordingly. Exactly. That business trip you talked about, what do you think? Are you going to be part of it? Will you be going with them? Um, I, I, I sincerely hope, hope so. I mean, we have an office in, uh, in Lagos and in Accra, and uh, um, we'll, we'll make sure we'll be there. Right, Alex. Thank you so much for your time. It's been nice talking with you, and uh, continue the good evening. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, welcome to Afroscandic. May I know who you are? Could you please tell us who you are? Yes, my name is Anna Skilford and I'm from EKF. EKF, that name sounds unfamiliar. What is it? Could you please tell the viewers? Yes, that is the Danish Export Credit Agency. Good. What do you think about the whole tutorial the embassy has put in us through in respect to the investment opportunity in Benin Republic? Well, I think it, it was a very uh, exciting seminar and uh, very enlightening about uh, Benin. Uh, right. And there was one important thing the ambassador said at last, that is they are going to organize a trip to Benin Republic, which sounds outstanding. Are you going to go with them? Well, uh, I think they'll have to be decided within my organization. Uh, the Danish Export Credit uh, Agency is uh, demand-driven, so we go where the Danish exporters go. So if the Danish exporters have appetite uh, and, and going to Benin, then we will also follow them. Thank you so much for your short time. Please uh, continue the good evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening, and this is Afro Scandic. Could you please tell the viewer what your name is? Yes, good evening. My name is Bulette Christensen, and I'm the CEO of Bornefonden. Bulette, that sounds outstanding. What will you tell us about today's event that the embassy has just put in us through about the Republic? I think we have uh, today uh, have a very nice presentation from the embassy about what opportunities there are right now in Benin. The possibility to go into agriculture, the possibility to go in energy or in tourism. And um, one last thing, 
that I think is very important. Mm -hmm. As a follow-up, the embassy is arranging a movement, a travel mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. Benin Republic. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be part of it? I hope so. I hope I will be invited and I will do my best together with the employees Bonafont and have in Benin, you know, to cooperate with the embassy. When you say you hope so, there's a little bit of doubt there. No, 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 there's no doubt, you know, but, but officially, you know, you should always have an uh, invitation from the embassy and I'm quite sure we get one. Right. I understand it as you'll be going with them. Of course I am. Thank you so much. Have a good evening. Uh, thank you. This is Afros Kendik and good yes. evening. Good evening. Could you please tell if you are your name? I'm Michael uh, Hedegaard and I'm from uh, Nordicon Consultancy. Nordicon Consultancy is an engineering firm, is that correct? It's a, no, it's a, it's a consultancy uh, within uh, international business, uh, uh, helping companies uh, go abroad. So it's basically more management consultancy company. Right. And with this fantastic um, seminar we've had here at the Benin Republic Embassy in Copenhagen, what do you have to say to that? I think it's been uh, actually a very uh, nice, very informative, also very warm, I'm thinking, uh, warm uh, atmosphere that has been here. Uh, and we've done this in collaboration with the, uh, with the embassy in Benin, uh, so Nordicon, Bernefond and uh, the embassy of Benin. I think it also shows that the embassy here is, uh, is actually active. Uh, very active when it comes to private sector development uh, and uh, dynamic in its approach. Mm. So I'm happy uh, with the collaboration we have um, and as we're planning to do a business delegation uh, together to Benin in March, um, I think it's a very good start actually of, uh, of, of, of a positive collaboration. And what I understand from what you've said is with the business delegation you're going to be part of the team. Will it be going to Benin Republic next year? Yes, yes, yes. We will be going, uh, be going together. So, this is a business delegation that uh, that we will organize uh, together um, with the embassy here. With us, we have been doing other um, business delegations to other places. Um, to we'll go together with companies, of course, and other interested. Thank you so much for your contribution. Enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. Good evening. This is Afro Skandik. Could you please tell the viewers what your name is? My name is Mikkel Hansen. And which business enterprise do you represent? Uh, aquaculture and renewable energy. I'm a business consultant. That sounds very good. We've just heard from the embassy, of, embassy about the stability policies and um, the huge market, the good governance, and the fight against corruption that the government of Benin Republic is taking are doing at the moment. What do you see there? What are your chances in Benin Republic? I see that the government is taking some large steps in the right direction and actually uh, one of the companies that I was here with today, they, they told me uh, they are looking at investing in your neighboring country, Nigeria, and they said, oh, with this uh, tax exemption, it could be, uh, why are we not looking at Benin? You know, they have not been looking at Benin before, but I definitely think that they will do that now in the future. And like they said in the seminar, you know there's Boko Haram, there's a lot of instability in Nigeria. Don't you think Benin Republic being a very safe country, that is the place for you to be? And beside that, they told us that 90% of the energy is being imported abroad. I've seen a huge market for you based on what you do. Yeah, there is, there is, and uh, especially in the northern part of Benin, there's a big potential for, for renewable and especially solar energy. Um, and for the security question, uh, Benin is a very quiet country. Mm. Uh, I have traveled both in, in Benin and Nigeria, and when you come from a country like Nigeria, where there is people everywhere, there's a lot of boss, you come to Benin and you feel tranquil. You know, it is very well organized, and um, and I was surprised. Uh, I went out one night and I, I saw young people driving scooters at the street at night time. Mm -hmm. So I was surprised about that because that is something I have never seen in, in any other African countries. So I think the security situation in Benin is very good. And one last question. Following this event of today, the embassy in collaboration with other organizations are organizing a movement, a travel to Benin Republic. Don't you think it's going to be an opportunity for you? Are you going to be on the flight to Benin next year? Yes, I am, but I'm not sure that I can wait all the 
or to March next year. Maybe I will go there before uh, March next year, but I will definitely participate in, in that trip as well. That sounds very good. Continue yeah. your very good evening. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Good evening, Your Excellency, and welcome to Afroscandic. I want to start by um, telling the viewer that the ambassador has chosen to um, answer my question in French. He would love to do it in English, but he said this time around he wants French, and we respect that. Your Excellency, I want to start by thanking you for a wonderful gathering. Thank you. And um, what do you think went best tonight? Merci, messieurs les journalistes, pour cette interview que vous m'accordez. Le, le but du séminaire que nous avons organisé est d'informer autant que possible les investisseurs danois sur les opportunités, mais aussi sur les réformes et mesures incitatives qui sont prises par le nouveau gouvernement de notre pays, le gouvernement du président Patrice Talon, pour inciter les investissements étrangers directs, des investissements productifs dans notre pays. La forte participation que nous avons eue des investisseurs danois et surtout des organismes de financement comme IFU, comme EKF, qui accordent des financements et des garanties de financement pour la réalisation des projets dans les pays en développement me permettent de dire que c'est un grand succès que ce séminaire a constitué. La seconde chose, j'ai l'impression que les informations que nous avons fournies, surtout par rapport au nouveau programme du gouvernement béninois, par rapport aux nombreux projets intéressant le secteur privé sur la base de la loi sur le partenariat public-privé. Ces différentes mesures, ces différentes informations ont beaucoup intéressé les participants à ce séminaire. A telle enseigne que finalement, nous pensons que le voyage d'affaires que nous projetons pour la fin de mars 2017 sera un grand succès non seulement pour ces hommes d'affaires qui trouveront profit au Bénin, mais également pour notre pays pour assurer son développement économique. Thank you, Your Excellency. The people I've had here for interview, they were all satisfied with what you have done today. And I want to ask you this, sir. Is it an event that you want to continue after this one? Oui, c'est un... Euh, cet événement, c était, c était, ce séminaire est le premier inscrit au plan d'action de l'ambassade pour l'année 2016. Nous avons 2017. Nous allons non seulement répéter euh, sous différentes formes de contact avec le secteur privé, avec les ONG au Danemark, mais également avec le secteur privé, les ONG et autres organismes de financement dans tous les pays de la juridiction que nous couvrons, à savoir la Finlande, notamment la Suède, la Norvège, l'Estonie, la Lettonie et la Lituanie. And um, one last question, sir. Everybody I've had here tonight, they all want to go to your country. Now you're going to have a lot of people going with you next year. Is this something you can finance? Non, vous savez que c'est une affaire euh, d'organisation. Euh, le voyage d'affaires est, un, est une euh, organisation commune. Il y a une forte participation des hommes d'affaires eux-mêmes, comme cela s'est passé dans d'autres pays africains, notamment le Ghana, la Côte d'Ivoire et l'Ouganda. Mais nous accompagnons, nous créons les conditions, nous accordons un certain nombre de logistiques au plan interne pour créer de bonnes conditions de séjour aux délégations. C'est cela 
qui incombera au gouvernement de mon pays et nous avons l'habitude. L'essentiel est que ces hommes d'affaires qui seront dans notre pays puissent constater sur le terrain tout ce que nous venons de leur donner comme information et puissent se décider à investir dans notre pays, à y voir les conditions favorables qui leur sont accordées par le gouvernement. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I don't want to take your time so much because there are a lot of businessmen there waiting for you to continue the evening. Have a good evening, sir. Thank you very much. Welcome, Your Excellency. For coming here, Afro Scandic is a very nice, a very nice, I think, company of media for communication in this area. I am covering it every day. Thank you very much for what you are doing for African countries, African ambassador in that area, and see you very soon. Thank you, Excellency. Thank you.